Of course. <laughs> anyway. What is up, everybody? Broken Twitch here, though. Coming at you guys again with another fake Grand Order live stream. I was supposed to be doing this yesterday, though, but unfortunately, though, a lot of stuff occurred, though. Um, I had to catch up on, on homework and stuff, so, yeah. I had to catch up on my assignments and stuff. So, yeah, we're going to try and do as much as we can to within, like, the next two hours of this stream here. We're going to, we're going to, yeah, we're going to do as much as we can within these next two hours or so. You guys sit back, relax, and enjoy yourselves, though. I'm already dropped the links and stuff. Can't really do anything else right now. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to, um... What's my Reiko doing here? All right, sorry about that, everybody. I had to go and drop the link to one more place. I was given knowledge of this place when Amor chose me for his vessel. But it's still a surprise to see the Caldea Security Organization up and running. All these different heroic spirits coming together to face a threat to the very world and restore humanity. Well, it's all very inspiring. You know, we could really use your help too. Of course, I would never have become a pseudo-servant if I weren't interested in helping. The, the fact that she's aware of Caldea and the fact that she's aware of the fact that of the fact that we would love to have her help is amazing. Truly, it's all thanks to the Lord that I was given this opportunity. Not to mention that with all of these fine heroic spirits. I should be able to realize my dream of, of an ideal world filled with love. Hmm, her opportune appearance was pretty fishy, but I can't deny that she's saying all the right things now. Yeah, that's true. If we just if we're just going off looks and elegance, she could give our princess a run for her money. But whenever I look at that red outfit of hers, I always feel weirdly unsettled. It's almost like it's unearthing some kind of trauma buried deep in my soul or something. You two are Lord Gilgamesh and Lord Kukwalan, right? It's an honor to be here speaking with two of the greatest heroes the world has ever known. What a strange twist of fate that has brought us all here. It's as though we're bound by unbreakable diamond change chains. Are you sure you've never met them before? Oh, yes, absolutely. It's quite nerve-wracking meeting everyone from the first time like this. Well, you know what the funny thing is? Well, you know what? I could spoil it, but um, I could spoil it, but I think I'll hold off. But I think I'll hold off on it on to who she is and who she is really. As to who she is really. Hi, Mr. Toro. Happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day. It's nice to see you all hanging out together, and I see you've also got an unusual addition to your group today. Hello. That's Eris. You're right. But this is unusual. You all headed out somewhere? No. We weren't doing anything in particular. We just happened to end up together, got to talking, and decided to go to the cafeteria. Well, you sure don't sound excited about it. I thought I remembered you being a little more, you know, assertive. It's no wonder you're getting jerked around if you're going to be all wishy-washy. Look, you wouldn't just let your opponent do whatever they wanted in a fight, right? So why don't you try applying that same attitude into your normal life? Uh, 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 okay. Um, by the way, may I ask who that is? Oh, does this mean I can come out now? Hello, nice to meet you. I'm the servant version of Amor, the god of love. But please, feel free to call me Karen and treat me like an old friend. Uh, uh, uh. Ah, ah, it's Miss Karen. <laughs> huh, Miss Karen? So, you've met them before then. Whoa, 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 whoa. What's going on? What are you doing here? Yeah, what are you doing here, Miss Karen? No, wait, hang on. I think there's something different about her. <laughs> I think she's like, I think there's something. 
different about her. Yo, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, there really is something very different about her, all right? She's a pseudo-servant. She does seem a lot smaller. Maybe she's kid Miss Karen? <laughs> hmm, I can't say I care for this trend of attaching kid to anything and everything. <laughs> Love Kid Gale, he's amazing. He's a little shit. Oh, I'm sorry. So what's this all about? You girls all know who this are... Who this is already? Well, yeah, she was our school nurse. Although that Miss Karen was more grown up than this one is. Are you? Never mind. I understand now. You see, I'm a pseudo servant acting as a vessel for a more the divine spirit. And unfortunately, I have no memories of the time we presumably spent together. Perhaps this means the version of me you met was from a different world than I am. Oh, really? And here I was excited to meet someone I knew in my original world. Oh dear, something wrong? Uh, no, uh, no, no, nothing's wrong. It's just, um, right, of course. I knew this couldn't possibly be the case, but for just a moment, I thought you might be Karen Fujimura is all. Fujimura? As in Miss Fujimura? Where did that name come from? I have no way of knowing what sort of chaotic world you may have come from. But I do apologize if, if I inadvertently gave you the wrong idea. Oh, no. Not at all. Still, after hearing all that, there is one thing I do know. I must have been one of your favorite teachers, and you all must have admired me deeply. I can almost see it now. Me, smiling and happy, surrounded by a group of adoring children. Yes, I can almost... Almost... Hmm. Um, having a little trouble picturing it after all. So it would seem. I guess my imagination isn't as strong as I thought. Sure, you're not just keenly aware that there exists no universe where that would ever, would, or where that would ever happen. Shut up. <laughs> we'll just slap him again. Oh yeah, God, I slapped him. Yow. Now, where were we? Oh yes, I have a very clear mental picture now. Aries, was it? I can tell you must have respected me. I mean, this other Karen a great deal. What a beautiful teacher and student relationship you must have had. That goes for the rest of you, too. Thank you for adoring the me you knew in your worlds. N not at all, um, God Karen. You're much too kind. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, God! Oh, God. Ilya's face. She's like, she's like, what? A beautiful teacher and student relationship, huh? I definitely don't think I put it like that. She really does remind me a lot of Miss Karen, though. By the way, can I ask what brings you to Caldea, Karen? Uh, did I master some of you here? Yeah, about that. I see. Bitter shadows, huh? I had no idea things like that were roaming around Caldea. Oh, so that's what oh so that's what's going on here. Wait, isn't that kind of a big deal? Yeah, kind of. There's not a whole lot we can do until we figure out where they're coming from after all. So we're basically just wandering around seeing what's up. Guess those bitter shadow things and us have that in common. Have you noticed anything out of the ordinary? Out of the ordinary. Oh, but do you have an idea, me, you? Well, um, it's probably not that big a deal. But there is a new kind of chocolate being sold here that's been all the rage lately. It's so hard to get a hold of that everyone calls it illusory ch chocolate. Gotcha. So it's the kind of thing where stores make up some special limited edition item to drum up interest, right? Come on, Kukalin. You don't have to put it like that. It may be something of a last resort, but these struggling small businesses need to spread the word somehow, right? At least I didn't call it a last resort. Anyway, what about this illusory chocolate struck you as being out of the ordinary? Well, we've only heard rumors ourselves, and we're not sure how credible they are. But they say that the merchant selling this chocolate comes and goes in the blink of an eye. And that they wear a paper bag over their head. A real simple one. Like they give you at bakeries and stuff. Paper bag? What the fuck? The hell? No, seriously. What the hell is that all about? I, I do have a hard time seeing how that could have any connection to this Bitter Shadows incident. Are you sure it's even someone from Caldea? Everyone says it's probably just the... Kaikion lady or someone from the servant verse. And they don't seem concerned at all. Guess it's possible to get too used to stuff like this. So yeah, I know, right? After all the crap we've been through, of a good, a good events and all that stuff. 
Hmm. Those guys seemed like they were anxious about something today, too. I wonder if that had anything to do with these bitter shadows. Oh? Did you sense something amiss, too, Miss Ayers? I wouldn't be that specific, really. It's more like a general feeling of unease. Hmm. Ayers, was it? I think I understand why this Karen Fujimura you know, you know, you knew was concerned about you. It's because you, me, and Karen Fujimura all have the same kind of secret, isn't it? Uh, so you could tell. I thought you might be able to. Then, but does that mean that you also... Oh, yes. I could tell right away. You have fabulous fashion sense. Wait, what? What the fuck? Huh? You're boldly exposing a great deal of skin all while retaining an unflappable demeanor. That is something only one attempting to offer herself to a divine domain could do. What's more, that avant-garde outfit of yours is, to put it modestly, utterly perfect. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, can't say I saw that one coming. So you noticed. Yes, this outfit is my attempt to honor the Holy Grail's accords while complying with Kade's dress code. It's based on simple ancient Japanese clothing and is my way of paying my respects to outfits like Omi, Omi Goromo and Chahaya worn for holy rituals but i still have a long way to go before i can hope to measure up to my inspirations that's why i sometimes inadvertently embarrass some of the people i come across there's no need to be so modest just because society at large doesn't understand you doesn't mean you need to hide who you are that is facts that is true some truth right there i once went by a certain nickname and now i think it's only right that you go by it yourself from here on you should you should call yourself <laughs> the commando queen <laughs> A commando queen but but i'm not going commando <laughs> okay that's actually kind of great Th then again if you of all people think i should i suppose i could at least think about giving it a gotcha god flash D what is this i knew it you had another secret as well Eris, huh? What's going on? Hmm, this isn't strictly accurate, but for the time being, let's just say she's been possessed by a demon. You see, your body is overly acclimated to hosting things of that nature. The beam of light I struck you with completely lowered your defenses and exposed the cracks in your heart. Now, all the corrupt magical energy floating around Caldea has been drawn to you to take advantage of them. Huh? But do you knew this would happen? Of course. Oh, and before you get angry at me, you should know that it wasn't necessary sacrifice. Wait, that sounds like it might be someone else's catchphrase. Let me rephrase that then. I had no choice. I'm, I'm exhausted, and I didn't want to run around looking for that magical energy, so I thought I'd have it come to me. Well, to you instead. And you never thought to ask me first? Uh, what kind of a teacher are you? <sighs> My right hand is throbbing. Everyone, please, get away from me. I can't hold it back much longer. I knew it. That's just how I thought you'd react. Satoru, now that they've possessed her, this bit of shadow has managed a partial physical manifestation. Firing my bazooka at them now isn't going to have much effect. So I'd like all of you to neutralize Eris first. Um, what exactly do you mean by neutralize? Hit her until she stops moving, obviously. That's your plan? You uh, might want to rethink your methods a little bit going forward. She's certainly not a sterling example of, of, of a fettered hero, is she? Even so, we still have to do what she says, at least for now. Hang in there, Eris. I promise we'll save you. Wonderful. Now that is true friendship for you. I'm sure the Lord will be pleased to see you girls playing together like this, even if you do end up a bit bruised in the process. Is the whole concept of remorse just completely foreign to you? All right, let's do this. It's time to fight. Time to fight. Yep, time to fight. So I don't know what exactly is going on with my microphone, but yeah, anyway, there we go. Okay. Uh, yeah, I need sabers. But you know what? I do need those feathers, so, you know. 
Uh, yeah, I'm glad you take those feathers though. Oh, this is it? Okay. Yeah, she only has like a little bit of help. Oh wow, she's dead. Fight's over. <laughs> oh, that was easy. Nail, God Bazooka, fire! <laughs> Thank you, Ares. Uh, Bacalde is safe once more, and I couldn't have done it without your cooperation. Cooperation, huh? Yeah, you sh- Yeah, us beating her down, though, was cooperation, okay. Damn, that's kind of impressive. I wonder what you gotta eat to develop a skin that thick. Ilya, I'm sorry to ask, but would you mind taking her to the infirmary? Also, you should probably just stay there while you're at it, if only to keep the uh, sacrifices to a minimum. Honestly, I'm not thrilled at being mixed up in this myself, but it's too late for me to back out now. Th thank you, Gil. Uh, good luck, I guess. Don't you die on us, you hear? <laughs> um, I don't think we have to worry about that, at least. I guess I won't be able to use that trick anymore. Not that I was planning to do so again anyway. Oh, really now? Hee <laughs> hee. Don't you remember what I said about her fabulous fashion sense? I really like her style, so I wouldn't ever want to put her through the ringer more than once a day. I wonder if the original Miss Karen was like this. At any rate, that takes care of all the wicked magical energy in this area. Which, unfortunately, also means the end of our fun break hanging out with those nice girls. Still, that's a small sacrifice to make to protect Valentine's Day. Now, come on. Uh, let's continue our search. Yep, let's keep going. Right, let's, let's just keep going. Section 4. Alright, we need casters. Must. Right, did anyone else hear that? Hey, Chan Mas! Oh no, it's Say. Hmm, that piercing voice sounds familiar. Yeah, it's Say. Woohoo! Happy Valentine's Day! Hold on to your mystic code, because Nagiko's back this year with another heaping helping of love. Hang on, guys. Storm's heading our way. Ha ha ha, you do have a way with words, don't you, Satoru? Yeah, I guess neither of them ever listens, huh? Wa ha ha ha, not much for mutual understanding, are you? Well, that's okay, we don't always have to understand each other to get along. Anywho, here, Chamas, have some Valentine's Day chocolate. I made you an, I made you an orangette. 
Only instead of just soaking the kumquat, peeling sugar, I soaked the whole kumquat. Wow, that sounds fancy. And don't worry, Lane Lane and KG. Lane Lane and KG, I've got enough to go around. KG, <laughs> he's like, he's looking like KG. KG. Uh, I don't mind if you call me that, but I wouldn't call any of the other mess, other me's that if I were you. Especially not the spiky one. He's not big on emotion or mercy. Oh, well, that explains why he looks so grumpy when I called him that. And here I thought it was because he just didn't like chocolate or something. So you already called at least one of the other me's Lane Lane, huh? She's really less like a storm and more like a walking, talking, ticking time bomb, isn't she? Anyway, on a different note, is it true we got a new addition, Chan Moss, and a god at that? I got curious as to what she's like. So I thought I'd come meet her for myself. Whoa! Your hair is so beautiful, you're so dainty and petite, and your skin is so smooth. Oh man, I'm experiencing all the feels right now. <laughs> Um, who is this person and why does she have no concept of personal space? <laughs> it's say. Who, me? You could call me. You could call me. Oh, but not Giko. Nice to meet you, new bestie. <laughs> nice to meet you, new bestie. Wap, wap. Gleam. <laughs> Damn, she's really not afraid of anything, is she? Uh oh, this is bad. Karen's gonna blow her top soon. We've got to separate them before it's too late. Slaps. <laughs> Why the hell you slap me? I see. Nakiko, is it? Would you mind if I asked you something I've been wondering about? Sure, what's up? Who is that you're carrying under your arm? The fuck? If you're done, would you mind putting me down already? Oh crap, I completely forgot. Oh, Kama? <laughs> What's Kama doing here? This little lady, this little lady is Kama Cho. She's a god of love, too. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, dear. Chaos is about to erupt. You already know. Despite the fact that Kama hates doing her job, there is one thing that Kama does not tolerate. Someone taking, then, then, that's a, someone, someone stepping into her role. Cause she got a reputation to uphold. Pretty cool, right? I bet you two have a ton to talk about. Oh, but not to mention, you're both super cute. It's comma, you idiot, not comma cho. <laughs> Didn't that? Oh, come on, chill. <laughs> come on, chill. And why are we out here talking to them anyway? When you invited me to see the new god, you said we could just stay back and observe from a distance. Oh, whoops, did I? My bad. Flash of anger. <laughs> about to melt your ass. <laughs> well, never mind. This is extremely not okay. But, you know, whatever. Ahem. You must be Eros then. I'm Kama, the god of love. This is quite a coincidence, isn't it? I certainly never expected to run into another god of love who uses a bow and arrow here how fortunate that we managed to find each other i look forward to getting to know you better well thank you that's very kind of you to say i'm a more the god of love attack the nintendo girl hey, what's up brandon but please call me karen Kama, was it then you must be the hindu god of love mm -hmm. i thought you were supposed to be male but clearly i was wrong you're quite the adorable little thing aren't you oh that don't worry about it it's not important Besides, I could say the same for you, no? But then, as a pseudo-servant, I suppose your vessel's gender doesn't really matter at... Have we met somewhere before? No, this is our very first time. Are, are you sure? You seem very familiar somehow. At any rate, I'm not performing my godly duties right now because of reasons. Yo, I just realized that too! Yeah, she's a soccer face. So, yeah, so, so, yeah, all of the, all of the characters, that, that's like all of the characters 
that were in um that were in um heaven's field are showing up are you oh yeah you did show me that brandy you did get off a ticket yeah so what you say so having you show up now really does feel like fate to me he since your heir is the god of erotic love i bet you'll have no problem turning this place into a world positively dripping with love just the way i like yeah yeah actually for me brandon actually for me brandon um i'm actually gonna be waiting until um next year because we're getting a rerun of this so so um so i will be rolling for karen next year even with all these goody two shoes fighting you at every turn <laughs> oh god lord jesus Yes, that's right. I can just let this newcomer handle everything. And I won't have to lift a finger. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yes, right. Scheming evil. Scheming. All I have to do is hold up in my room and check in on Master every now and then to see me. If, to see. Oh, my God. Wait, what? All I have to do is hold up in my room and check in on Master every now and then to see if she's ready to sink into the pravity once and for all. It's perfect. I don't know what that was about, but I've got a bad feeling about it. True. I suppose we would have a lot in common if I was, in fact, Eros. Huh? But as we are now, lust simply isn't important to us. That being said, we won't deny it. That being said, we won't deny that it, too, has a place. That place just happens to be a good bit below our particular station <laughs> still it's been a pleasure to meet you well, why that little <sighs> uh oh no wait there's something off about her something that shouldn't apply to any pseudo servant man you guys are just too cute for words it should be illegal <laughs> I knew I was right to force you to come here Kama. you guys are gonna get along great um, I'm not so sure about that. If anything, they look almost ready to kill each other. Yeah, I do agree with that, Kid Gil. I don't know what you're talking about. It doesn't look anything like that to me. Nope. Seriously, Kid, you don't want to get mixed up in a cat fight. They're more dangerous than a wounded bear. Which is true. Which is true. Two women fighting, man. Just let them go. Let them go. It's, it's better to just play dumb before they remember you're there and make you pick a side. I see. As the unrivaled hunter of Ulster, you must be used to these kinds of dangerous situations. What's up, Mash? I'm sorry to interrupt your conversation, Senpai, but we found more bitter shadows. Could I ask you to go investigate as soon as I send you for the location? Hey, what's up, Jedi? And Brandon, sorry I'm late. Oh, no, dude, you're fine. Roger Dodger. Huh? Nagiko? Uh, thank you. Bitter shadow. I don't know what that is, but it sounds annoying. I don't need that kind of hassle, so I'll just let you guys go take care of. On second thought, I'll help too. After all, it should be an excellent chance for Eros there to see what I can really do. I honestly don't care whose kind of love is baser or loftier. But the idea of this naive little twit who's never been incinerated by Shiva's third eye thinking I can't hack it just pisses me off. Damn! Whoa! Holy shit! damn karma is karma is oh my god she's like she's like she's like i honestly don't care who's kind of love is basier is baser or loftier but the idea of this naive little twit who's never been incinerated by, by shiva's third eye but thinking i can't hack it just pisses me off <laughs> yeah i should have said it like that that would be kind of fun plus when i pawn my job off on her i don't want her thinking it's because i'm some low tier god who can't clean up my own messes or anything no, I want her to feel honored that she gets to spare me from having to sully my own hands. If I have to show off what I'm really capable of to make that happen, that's fine. Oh my, that's very courageous of you. No wonder you were so famous in Indian mythology. But unfortunately, I just don't think your particular traits are going to be of much use here. What? Uh, of course they will be. Wait right here and I'll prove it. I can easily handle some fake shadow servants by myself. Come on, you idiot. Just this once. I'm going to let you help me. Huh? Weren't you just talking about how you could handle this yourself? Oh, well. No biggie to me. I'm just glad to be asked to help. 
Th they ran off before we could say anything. Maybe we ought to go after them? What's up, Blade? Why? Anyone can beat those bitter shadow things as long as they have the power of love, right? So since Calm is technically a god of love too, why don't we just let her take care of it? Five minutes later. What the hell? <laughs> what the hell? I destroyed those things a bunch of times, but they just kept but they just kept reviving. Welcome back. Hmm? Where's the one that where's the one that looks like a cactus? Nakiko, was it? What happened to her? I left her there. The fuck? <laughs> Kama! Kama, Kama, what the fuck? Kama was like, Kama was like, I left her there. Like, 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 dog eat dog world. Fuck this shit, man. This guy's a real piece of work too, huh? <laughs> I'm in danger. <laughs> save me, John Ma, save me. <laughs> He's like, ah, I'm in danger. <laughs> God, Bazooka, die. Damn, hit him. Not go. She got shot too. Uh, hey, friendly fire. Uh, no, <laughs> no, not go. Damn, she did. Phew. That ought to do it. Thank you for gathering them all in one place like that, uh, but not get cut. That let me purify this whole hallway with a single shot, which is much more, which is much more cost effective. Master, are we really sure this lady is a god? Are you freaking kidding me? Yo, she actually got shot. What the hell are you doing with a bazooka? That's straight up cheating. That's straight up cheating. <laughs> Love this. This is great. Eros is supposed to use a bow and arrow, damn it. Damn, Kama is getting upset. You're supposed to be a god of love, but you're doing this shit all wrong. Doing this shit all wrong. You're pulling out a bazooka instead of a bow and arrow? Oh, hell no. Hell no. You're smearing my title. Love has no defined shape or form. So I see no point in sticking with a bow and arrow when the situation calls for a bazooka. The fuck? <laughs> what type of sense does that make? But I guess that may be hard to understand for a more old-fashioned god like yourself. Fury rising. Oh, no! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Everybody? Shit about to get real. Oh, so you think you're hot stuff just because you beat those bitter shadow things? Uh-oh. Oh, here we go. Here we go. She about to throw down. Let's go. Let's go. She about to throw down. You could only do it because you knew the trick. I wouldn't... I wouldn't have lost in a fair fight. Oh, shit. Oh, then what do you propose? Uh-oh. Let's take this to the simulator. I haven't been this pissed off in a long time. God damn. Uh. Damn, man. Karma ready to fight. I got a reputation to uphold. And the fact that you pull out a bazooka... Doing that type of shit? Oh, hell no. You ain't about to smear my title. I was here first. Really? I thought you were basically always pissed off. Sh shut it, master. <laughs> Blade charge. Don't give me no ideas, though. Because I will do that, okay? I will gladly make Karma and Karen for season six. Don't give me ideas. I will do that shit. You know me. You've known me long enough. I will do that shit. Now, come on, Eros. This is your last chance to apologize. <sighs> All right. I have, I have almost no stamina, and I really don't enjoy these kinds of personal fights. But if you insist, then I suppose I can't refuse. Well, let's fight. Ah, cramp in my hand. Oh, why she gets an attack up boost? Triggers his turn? Uh, yeah, about that. Yeah, about that. Yeah, I'm gonna try to dust her right here, though.
Smack! Oh yeah! Oh my goodness! I almost killed her! Fucking Sanzong! Get out of here! Still one of the best like then. That's like still one of the strongest of a single target casters in the game, by the way. Just letting you know. Just letting you know, then that's like still one of the strongest single target casters in the game. And she's only gonna get stronger though. Come this summer though. Bear witness to God's glory. God Bazooka final shot. Damn. Damn, Akama took a nail. What do you say, Kama? Shall we call to shall we call today's duel a draw? No! No! I'm not finished yet! I'm gonna! I'm gonna! Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. I can't do this shit no more. I'm out. This can't be right! I might not look like it, but I'm still a god damn it! <laughs> Listen to God damn it! <laughs> I got a reputation to uphold! I'm not gonna lose to you! I can't! I'm supposed to be the queen! How the hell can that bazooka hurt so damn much? What the hell is this even made of? <laughs> oh my gosh, this is great. Oh, that, well, yes. Well, yes, of course it hurts. After all, I love you. Ha! <laughs> Uh, I'm not gonna make a joke. Oh no! Say what? <laughs> what in the world are you talking about now, you crazy god? This bazooka's power is directly affected by how much love its user has in its in their heart. So since I love every person on Earth, every shot I fire with it hits with the force of the entire planet. What the hell? And in your case, comma. You were incinerated by Shiva, making you a being that's essentially the universe. Which means that by loving you, my god Bazooka's power is equivalent to Earth and the universe. Earth and the universe combined. Are you freaking kidding me? <laughs> Yo, this is great. I no, no! Ah, shit. Hold on, guys. Give me a second. Ah, crap. Give me a second, guys. Dang it! Crap. It skipped. All right, I'll give me a second, guys. I'm going to read that dialogue. All right, give me a second, guys. I'm going to restart. Yep, I'm going to restart. All right, uh, let me just skip, 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 skip. Okay, here we go. Earth and the universe combined. Are you freaking kidding me? I mean, spreading love is in my job description too, which is true. So by that logic, my bow and arrow should be just as powerful as your goddamn bazooka. Oh my, it's worse than I thought. I can't believe you're still ignorant of such a basic fact. Our definitions of love are different, which is true. Your love is all about building you and your loved ones up together with their consent. The very fact that you talk about providing love pr proves that it's very different from my kind of love. God the Father's love simply exists. Period. I would back have to turn around. Alright, dude. Those who receive it need needn't agree to do so. Because true love is already complete simply by virtue of existing. What the fuck? Wait, hang on. Are you sure you're not just making up something that sounds good to avoid giving a real answer? <laughs> huh? What? Why'd you just collapse? Because firing that shot opened up old wounds. As I thought, scaling up and spreading my love to a whole universe really did take a lot out of me. That's why I consider today's match to be a draw. But didn't I say as much earlier? <laughs> Yo, commas. Yo, uh... Kama's like, I want to kill this bitch so badly. I want to kill her again. Why in the world would you push yourself that far just to beat me? Are you some kind of idiot? 
since you wanted to see what I was made of, I thought it was only right that I not hold back. I swear. Every single thing you say and do is just the dumbest shit imaginable. God damn! Karma does not give a fuck. She has no chill. She's just like, you know what? She's just like, you know what, man? I already got... I already got incinerated once, though. I'm not serving, though, man. I don't give a fuck anymore. I don't give a... I don't give a fuck no more. Still. Love is such a pain in the ass to begin with. You know what I should do? Maybe... Maybe I should do a tier list of every FGO servant based off of their energy. Make a... Make a tier list specifically for black Air Force energy. Make a tier list for white Air Force energy. Make a tier list for like... Make a tier list for like... Uh, parental energy. That sort of thing, yeah. Uh, but I can't blame any god who exists solely for love for being a pain in the ass too. Yeah. Right, maybe I should do that. I really thought they were going to end up killing each other. But it looks like this is working out better than I expected. Guess they had something in common after all. The only real difference is their faith. But I don't know if Jedi is there. But anyway. I don't know why anyone would want to go around preaching about something that's as big of a pain as love. But since love is kind of their thing, it's no surprise they find some common ground. <laughs> See? what I tell you, Lane Lane? I knew those two would be besties. How the hell did you recover so fast? Besides, I've been wondering. People who fall in love can pray to a god of love for romantic assistance. But who's a god of love supposed to pray to? No, that's a real good question. Hmm, I guess you can't really say themselves there. Exactly, KG. <laughs> KG. Kevin Garnett. <laughs> But now that there's two of them, all their problems should be solved. Now even Kamacho can ask someone for help when it comes to matters of the heart. R really? Is that how it, how that works? And that is why I made sure they have, and, and that's why I made sure they'd have a meat cute of their own. What do you think? Pretty clever, right? Uh, yeah, that's great, except for two tiny details. One, I don't answer anyone's prayers for romance. And two, I have no intention of talking about my own love life with anyone. Oh my God, that fucking face. I still can't get over that. She's just basically like, dude, man. She's like, really? Gotcha. Ugh, I swear. You really need to quit jumping to conclusions, idiot. Especially about the kind of things that make my hair stand on end. Oh my. I'm sorry, Kama. I had no idea you were having such a hard time with your own love life. If you ever want to talk, I'd be happy to lend you my ear. The church is always open to lambs who have lost their way, after all. I just said I'm not having a hard time. And don't go building churches when nobody asked you to. I was kidding, of course. Just a little goddess humor. <laughs> don't think this means you won, Eros. We are going to settle this someday. Count on it. Oh, uh, okay. I think I should be able to give you a rematch at some point if I wind up with literally nothing better to do. Gah! <laughs> I knew this goddess rubbed me the wrong way. <laughs> Poor Kama. Yeah, looks like she's got another problem to deal with. Section 5, shot fired! I think this is the last one I can do right now. Uh, let me check. Give me a second, everybody. I need to check real quick. Because I believe... Because I believe the next um, stop is here. I mean, I think so. Let me see. Walk through. Here we go. Walk through. Yep. 
Yeah. Yep. This is a stop right here. Yeah. This is a stop right here. Yep. Yep. This is the next stop. I'm sorry, senpai. I wish I could tell you more about the bitter shadows, but I'm afraid our analysis hasn't made any progress. As soon as we know more, I'll let you know, though. Ah, another error message. Is something wrong? Oh, no, everything's fine. It looks like we've been experiencing some power loss recently. But it's been well within the margin of error, so no need for you to worry. Anyway, good luck with your investigation, senpai. Thanks, Mesh. Oh, good luck with the analysis, too. So, they still haven't made much, made any progress. Eh, but I'd like we made much either. Hey, Karen. I don't suppose you can use your powers to figure out where the next bitter shadow will show up, can you? Tell me, Ku Holland. Does depending on others to make up for your inadequacies make your tea taste better? Damn! Burn! Damn! That, that, yo, that kind of hurt. Some hunter you are, expecting your quarry to be handed to you on a silver platter. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. Damn! All right, Mom! Oh, I'm out of tea. Uh, go make some more, Master. Okay. Now who's depending on others? Also, lectures are way more convincing when you deliver them standing up instead of lounging in bed. And while you're humoring, and while you're humoring her, Master, don't make her tea just because she told you to. Well, at least you can still bark like a good hunting dog. Damn, yo, Karen just being so snarky. As for me, my job requires me to rest a great deal. It's tiring holding up a bazooka with these scrawny arms, after all. So it's not using it that's tiring, but just holding it. That being said, it does feel as though we're reaching the limit to what we can find by just wandering around aimlessly. Since more bitter shadows keep popping up no matter how many we defeat, there must be some kind of boss out there who's responsible for them. It would be nice if this boss came to us con to confess their sins so we didn't have to go looking for them ourselves. Hmm? It sounds like you have a visitor, Master. Doors open! Oh, Jason. Hey, hey, this is my favorite Master. Sorry to barge in on you like this. Oh. And I see you two are here with her. Kuhalan and Gilgamesh. Uh, but didn't know you were such good friends, but I think it's great that you are. Friends are the greatest treasure in the world. Oh my goodness, what's wrong with him? Uh, are you feeling okay? Uh, did you maybe... Eat something weird. Yeah, Jason, you're kind of creeping me out. Yeah, I know, right? Aha, uh -huh. ouch, you guys don't hold back, do you? <laughs> but that's okay, I get it. Only good friends tease each other like that. Oh my goodness, right? He's clearly a bit of shadow. By the way, may I ask who your new friend is? Me? I'm Karen, if you must know. Hmm. Uh, do I know you from somewhere? That's your pickup line? I guess you could call it a classic. If you're being generous... However, while I may currently be serving as the god of love to help save humanity, my faith remains the same, even as a pseudo-servant. Which is to say, the Lord is the only man I need in my life. Now kindly leave. Damn! Yo! Holy shit! Oh, uh, that's not what I... Eh, whatever. More importantly, you know what time of year it is, right, Master? Of course you do. And this year, I've got a really special valentine for you. Please, take it. I've spent years collecting this rare Heracles memorabilia. Now it's all yours. Yikes, I can smell it. Yikes, I can smell the testosterone from here. <laughs> this was the only way I could think of to show you how grateful I am for all you do for me year round. Thanks, Master. Here's to many more great years together. With you, me, and Heracles all working together, I'm sure we can take back our future. Well, see ya. The fuck was that? Yeah, that was creepy as hell. Is he always like that? Hell no. No, there was something really creepy about him today. I also can't imagine he willingly give up his prize collection like that under under like this under normal circumstances. Yikes. Was Jason just here? Eesh. Oh, but this is this time. I'm not sure what you or the porch lady's problem is, but you really gotta chill. Anyway, yeah, Jason was just here. He left after giving Master a bunch of Heracles merch. God, it stinks of testosterone! <laughs> it must have been even more effective than I thought. I better find him soon. 
Oh, and Master, I'd like to talk to you once this is taken care of. Okay. Okay, what was that all about? Holy crap. Told you guys shenanigans. I'm intrigued. Uh, uh, let's go after them. <laughs> I had a feeling you'd say that. All right, if we must. Come on, you two. Uh, cut that out. You can't go prying into other people's business uh, uh, just because it's fun. Uh, and the wise words from Kid Gill, everybody. But yet he's going! Um, you guys actually do get along pretty well, don't you? Yeah, he's going. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but can you, you want to do this spell now, my dear? It really hurts having my hands twisted behind my back. Sleep. Phew. He certainly put up a fight, but at least that should take care of that. Now, now, what are now? What are you all doing here? I was just curious about the bloodbath I was sure we were headed for, or weren't, as it turns out. That was quite the letdown, wasn't it? Oh, Fort. What was that all about, anyway? Oh, no, not you two, Master. Well, I guess it's okay. I was planning to talk to you about this, anyway. Uh, but give me a second, guys. Oh, they're not that bad. They're not that expensive. Okay. Well, I guess it's okay. I was planning to talk to you about this anyway. Take a look. This is why Jason was acting so strangely. Is that chocolate? Specifically, it's the it's the illusory chocolate that's all the rage in Caldea right now. Even though it's very hard to get hold of. And its name is... God Love. Well, that ain't fishy at all. Anyway, after a, after a while of hearing about how amazing this chocolate was, I finally managed to get my hands on some. But as it turns out, it also contained trace amounts of magical energy. Of course. I tried to ask the woman selling it about that, but she ran off before I had the chance. What did this woman look like? Huh? I don't know. She was wearing a paper bag over her head. So was... Honestly, I figured it was just more servant verse nonsense. We're all definitely too used to this sort of thing. Yeah, we are. Anyway, she might have gotten away, but I still had the chocolate I bought from her. So I decided to examine it more thoroughly. In doing so, I found out that it definitely has some kind of effect on whoever eats it. But, it's, but I still don't know exactly what that effect is. That was when Jason happened by. So, so you used him as a guinea pig, huh? After that, well, you all know what happened next. Jason turned into a weirdly nice version of himself. Hang on. You're telling us this chocolate has the power to change people's personalities? So that's what's been going on here. That explains why all those other servants were acting so much friendlier than usual. Okay, so in that case, I'm actually... You know what? I'm kind of surprised that... That... That Shonagon, she didn't try... No, here's the thing. If Shonagon had gotten her hands on that weird chocolate and then fed it to Kama, what would have happened? I'm curious now. I'm actually curious about that now. What would have happened had Karma had Karma taken had Karma eaten that chocolate? Well, in Jason's case, but there's a part of me that wouldn't mind just leaving him like this. But seeing him be this nice has actually turned out turning out to be sort of creepy, right? How wonderful. Finding forgiveness in your heart, even for someone who has hurt you over and over. Now that is true neighborly agape. I love to see it. That said, it would certainly have been more fun to watch if she'd been willing to sling a little more mud. What do you think my life is? Some kind of reality TV show? <laughs> this is great. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Did you just read my mind? Yo, y'all love this event. This event is great. <laughs> it's a little embarrassing to have my private thoughts revealed, but I suppose I shouldn't be surprised seeing as you're a mage from the age of gods. I must say, true mystics really are a wonder to behold. You'll have to teach me your magical uh, telepathy secret sometime. 
What are you talking about? You were blabbing your private thoughts for all to hear. I get it. Sometimes you can't help but want to point out the sheer craziness in things she says. Tell me about it. Half the time, I can't even tell whether she's joking. I'll say. I don't know who the hell you are, but you got a lot of nerve talking to me like you know anything about. Do I know you from somewhere? Hmm, I couldn't tell you. My name is Karen C. Hortensia, but please call me Karen. I'm also serving as a vessel for the divine spirit Amor. That's, that's Amor, not Amor. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my goodness. Game was just like Twitch. That's, but that's Amor. Then that's like, that's Amor, not, <laughs> not Amor. Amor. As an Eros? Oh, damn! <laughs> oh my, that was frightening. Why are you attacking me? I suppose you have some history with this god of love. You bet I do. Uh, do you have any idea how much you all messed up my life? I never imagined I'd get a chance to take my revenge on you here. But you better believe I won't let it pass me by now. All right, all right, Medea. Calm down. Calm down, Medea. Uh, what did you do to her, Karen? Well, um, strictly speaking, it was Eros and Aphrodite who did it, not me. Aphrodite, she's one of the major Greek gods, right? I remember hearing she had strong ties to Eros as well. A long, long, very long time ago, back when the earth was still awash in mystics, Aphrodite, which, with Eros' help, bewitched gods and humans alike. Of the many such schemes she came up with, one of them was named something like Make Queen Medea Fall Head Over Heels for Jason. Really? Really? I trust you can see where this is going now. Oh, yeah, we already know. I'm already aware. I've been through then that's like, I've encountered way too many events where freaking Medea has tried to like vaporize Jason. I'm already aware. Eros under orders to help Jason obtain the Golden Fleece. Knocked an arrow filled with Aphrodite's blessings and curses on his prized bow. And bloom, and boom, it just worked. Don't you talk about the worst time of my life like it's some kind of damn infomercial. Did you just jump into her line of fire? Um, yes, but uh, I didn't have a choice. Arrow's crimes are um, mine to bear as well, you see. So even though being punished definitely isn't my thing, not, not at all, I uh, have to take it all the same. So you're at least aware of what you did, pseudo-servant or not. That's right, Eros. If it wasn't for that damn arrow of yours, my whole life could have been completely different. Oh, oh yeah. Uh-oh. Crap. That's bitter shadow magical energy. Oh, no. It looks like it's attracted to Medea's anger. Huh? Oh my, how terrible. Now the Bitter Shadows have got Medea too. Oopsies. What do you mean, oopsies? Exactly. You can at least pretend to be worried. Well, I guess it just goes to show what happens when you let anger take the wheel. All right, everyone, you're up. Now that Medea is unconscious, you need to stop her before she goes on a wild rampage throughout. Hmm. <laughs> I'm still perfectly conscious, thank you very much. Wait! Wait, did she really just? Oh my goodness! Did Medea really just? I'm a witch from the Age of Gods, remember? This is nowhere near too much magical energy for me to control. In fact, this is perfect. I'm going to use all this new power now at my command to hit you with a spell powerful enough to blow all of Chaldea away. Oh no! Yeah, um, could you maybe not do that, please? Hey, whose side should we take here? Don't ask me. Besides, I don't think it's our place to say anything, since it's not really any of our business. And on that note, I just remembered some urgent business of my own. So if you'll excuse me. Oh, no, you don't. You're not leaving me to deal with this alone. Crap. <laughs> Kid, Gil, that's the second time as if any tried to dip. 
Oh no! Oh no! Formation restricted! No! No! Formation restricted! We gotta. Oh no! We gotta fight Medea. Oh no! We're about to get dusted. This is horrible. Help! Okay, she doesn't really have a whole lot of help. Okay, fine then. In that case, stun her. Stun her. Yeah, that did nothing. That did absolutely nothing. Yeah, I'm doing no damage right now. Because Medea is a caster. Because because Medea is a caster. And ruler class servants like and, and here's the thing: ruler class servants resist all cavalry, all cavalry classes. Yeah, but they resist all cavalry classes. So, uh, but they resist casters, assassins, and um, riders. I'm doing no damage though. I just gotta constantly keep hitting her with rule breaker. That's all I can do. It's horrible. Rule breaker. That's all I can do. The win is mine. Victory is mine. Yeah, I won. That's all I can. That's all I can do is just constantly spam rule breaker. That's all I can do. That was horrible. Oh no. Oh, baby, no, 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 no. Scratch it, scratch it, scratch it, scratch it, scratch it, scratch it. Oh, uh, let me do it right. Oh no! <laughs> of a JoJo reference. Oh no! Help me! Oh my god! Son of the bitch! <laughs> like, son of a bitch! <laughs> well, I do feel a little better now. Really, I'm surprised. I didn't think you would be satisfied until you tore five, maybe six limbs off of me. I'm pretty sure you only have four! Exactly, I was about to say that. Just when I thought she went down like a punk, she springs back like nothing happened. Yeah, it's called no selling. That's exactly what it is. It's called no selling. Seriously, what is her deal? Hmm. I could tear every... I could tear every one of you limb from limb, and I doubt that God is with so much as bat and eye. God damn. Would you really do that, Medea? I don't know what it is you're up to here, but I'm not about to waste any more of my time on a doll. So let's just say this trip down memory lane is over now, shall we? Medea. Uh, uh, don't look at me like that, master. As I just said, I won't get in your way any longer, but I'm not going to help you either. Of course. You're going to have to deal with this mess yourselves. Here's the chocolate I told you about. I suggest you give it to Da Vinci so she can take a closer look at it. Don't worry about Jason lying on the floor there. I'll take care of him. Thanks for the Valentine's Day chocolate, Medea. Uh, 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 did you really have to say that now? Yes! Just sit tight, okay? I'll have a proper Valentine's Day gift for you soon enough. Well, I never did figure out what that was all about, but at least we got some of that, some of that illusory chocolate now. Think, thinks this stuff's got some connection to the Bitter Shadows? I don't know, but it's definitely worth, worth looking into either way. Shall we go pay Da Vinci a visit, Master? Sounds like a plan. Let's go. Hmm. Hmm. I wonder what's going to happen now. Well, that's all we can do right now. I think we're at a lock now. But we're not done. We're not done. Valentine's Day events. Hopefully. Yep. Lock. Yep. 
Oh, oh, we just kind of flew right by it. Let's go. We just kind of flew through. Give chocolates. Do I have one? Hmm. Who do I want to give my chocolate to? Ooh, I know. Where is it at? Where's that? Oh, I don't have enough chocolate. Okay, fine, fair enough. All right, let's just, let's just, um, let's just give chocolate to somebody. Let's see what happens. Oh, there's someone here, let's go. Who is it? Hmm. Oh, it's Ozzy. No, it's Gretchen. It's Dio. It's Dio. It's Dio. さえぎるものさて、マスター。あまたの英霊を率いて戦い続けるのは<笑> He is the strongest thing that's like dead. Yeah, he is like then That's like he is like right now, currently right now though. He is the strongest single target rider in the game right now. Well, 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 it's well actually, actually, honestly, honestly between honestly between Ozzy and uh, between Ozzy and um and uh, Ketsukoto. They're, they're close, but, oh, you honor me, O Pharaoh. Mm. Mm. Oh, you do? Oh, yeah, that's, oh, yeah, that's right, he is on my support list, forgot about that. Forgot <laughs> まだであれば大前自弱にあればよい。神々が世界の現れならば、ファラオもまた世界である。世界はあるがままにあるのみであり、ファラオもまた等しく、あるがままに支配し統治する。まあ、あれには難しかろう。悲しき暮れをパトラ目にもな
you are, Pharaoh. ほうほう、中南米の皇帝が口にしたとかいうものだな。苦味を甘味とともに練り上げて形作る菓子。チョコレート。無論知っている。要は現代知識の吸収にも余念がない。ふん。これは。そうだな。ネフェルタリの喜ぶ味だうんうんよし褒めて使わす三つにもの世は大いに気に入ったこれには貴様の思いが込められていると認めよう大義であったゆえ褒美を取らすかつての昔ここでなき場所今でなき時代貴様の預かり知らぬ異世界での死闘があったすなわち聖杯戦争である世は大神殿採用に座して二期の英雄と相まみえた正確には三期だがまあ二期で構わん片や東大の政権使いたる青と銀の騎士片や東方の大英雄たる赤き号泣使い Who you, will, who you will encounter when you get to Camelot. Because you will also see Ozymandias there as well. You will also see him there, Camelot. Yoki, Tatakai de Atta. Ano Sto no Ori, Yoga Hanatta Shinju Sphinx no Mure. Korewa, Sorera o Tosot Sur Oshu. Kyof no Chichi, Arabur Hono to Kaze, Tenku no Keshin. 神王たる世にのみ与えられる神王の意の具現その名スフィンクス・ウェヘム・メスウトまあそれの子だ愛らしいであろう地上にあってファラオに不可能なし万物万象を我が手中にあり<笑> That's the line that he says though then, then that's like then that's like he actually says that line though、um, it's in his dialogue that this, this, this line right here nothing on earth is beyond Pharaoh's grass all the creation is at my command yep he actually says that I don't really see how that explains anything ムロンウェヘム・メスウトの子そのものではない世の魔力をいくらか与えた分身のようなもの。よく愛願し、よく育てるがよい。よが許す。So we got a wolf and now we got sphinxes. Sphinx for... ニトクリスやクレオパトラには黙っていろよ。聞けば、よくて失神。悪ければ霊気がきしむ。こよいは気分がよい。天を行く我が船にて、夜空をかけにでも参るか。うん。世は騎乗するものを多く持つ。何せライダーのクラスとやらで限界しているゆえに。ではマイルとするか空へ<音声>やあバレンタインのお返しだよどうぞ受け取ってくれさあそういうわけだでは
君がそれをかぶる日を楽しみに待つとしよう<笑><笑>ああ確かにそれはそうだだがねマスターこの私がチョコをもらえないはずがないそんな確信が全身に満ちている加えてその手に持っている甘い香りのするお菓子<笑>証明終了 QED というやつだしょうがないと思うだって海賊だからね私は海賊というのは大抵ろくでなしと相場が決まっている悲しいことだけどねではマスターいただくとしようかうん<笑>おもはゆいとはこういうことかなさ、先ほど渡したプレゼントをよく見てくれたまえ逆転の発想だウィッグによる目隠れが果たして真の目隠れかどうかは議論の余地があるが個々人の髪型のこだわりを尊重しつついざという時は私のこだわりを貫ける。そういう意味では悪くないと思うのだがいかがかなに今すぐにつけてほしいとは言わない私が戦場で手柄を立てた時の報酬として要求するとしようなーに大丈夫大丈夫最初は戸惑うがそのうち慣れるさではこのチョコレートじっくりと味わわせてもらおうというわけで私は部屋から出ていき君は一人きりになるわけだが<笑>こっそり使ってみてもいいんだよ今回は片目目隠れタイプだったが次は両目目隠れタイプも進呈しよう。よ<笑>いやすまなかった。何しろ君の目隠れだ。レイジで吹っ飛ばされても惜しくはないと思ってね。うん。次はできるだけ互いの意思を統一しよう。Get out of here! But now, you're not gonna think about what you've done. Let's do some fireworks! Damn! モラルのある人間は。まだ、あ、私、ね。私はほらあれだ。本当の悪の海賊だから。おはようございます、マスター。今朝は自主トレーニングですかいえ、完成室からの指令はないと確認してきたところですので。あなたは今日一日ゆっくり休日を楽しんでいるのかと、hey, なんとこれを私にいえこの可能性を考慮していなかったわけではありませんがありがとうございます妨害の喜びですマスターいやはや本来なら飛び上がって喜びを表現したいのですがそうはいかないのが悔しいですねカルディアには他に何名か
円卓の騎士がいますので彼ら大げさなものですか親愛には親愛で応えるのが紳士というものしかし困りましたねあなたが騎士であればいくらでも返せるものがあるのですが御身は魔術師いや待て落胆するのは早いぞガウェイこれがガレスの誕生日と思えば失礼しばらくお待ちを、okay. really got... really、お待たせしましたささやかなものですがこちらを受け取ってほしい Cosmetic set. Where did you get this? ダヴィンチ女子に取り寄せてもらっていたのです of course. カルディア内の空調は万全とはいえ一歩外に出ればそこは標高6 0 0 0ルの極寒女性にとって良い環境とは言えませんですのでどうぞこちらをお使いください今や歴戦のマスターとはいえあなたは未だ成長の途中にある可憐なレディ花に水が与えるがごとく心に潤いを与えてほしい自らを飾る気持ちを忘れてはいけませんそうであればあなたは間違いなく大輪の花を咲かせるでしょう Thanks, はいでも This is absolutely none of your business. <笑>はいあなたならそう憤慨すると分かっていましたともですがそこはご容赦をマスターあなたが健やかであればあるほど我が剣にも力が入るのですからひとときの契約であれこの身はあなたの騎士と誓ったのですなので諦めてお受け取りくださいこれからもよろしくお願いしますマスターイエーイ And everything else got cleaned which I've already got so Let's get All right All right All right let's do this one more time 何事だ契約者よ、hey, 戦いの知らせはなく万象の兆しもない<笑>この剣が必要な事態は遠く過度の労働は褒められたものではない。休息もまたなすべき試練である若い美空には実感の若が話だろうがこの山の大きなに贈り物だと Here go Gramps It may be a bell but it's a happy bell from a chapel あ
暗殺者として深くを取った以上、謹んで受け取ろう。決して慣れぬ行事だが、貴殿の顔を立てたい。しかし、それだけでは山の大きなの名に傷をつけよう。つまらぬものだが、返礼を受け取るがよい。Just for the record, though, he gives you incense. 魔術の豊よ。この星見の戦いは長く続くだろう。その子が、幾くばくかの癒しになるとよいのだが。さあ。Thanks, Gramps. Thank you, Grandpa. Oh, Siegfried. Oh, yes, I totally forgot I had Siegfried. Chocolate. s c o s i m a t o s i s o r o Mosia. Valentine Day no chocolate to you, Mon. Oops, sorry. Narodo. Narodo. ちょっと待ってほしい。いや、もちろんありがたく受け取るつもりだが、バレンタインにはお返しが必要ではないのか。だが、あいにくと俺にお返しできそうなものは、一つだけあるな。I forget what Siegfried gives you, though, because it's been a while. Da Vinci Dono got scooped the Greta. Himimo Dragon set to that. Wait, he gives me a, a dragon cosplay set? What? Skereba, you know, Chikara Minitsku. Kinga Surashi. Bimona item there. Sumanai. That's it? Oh, well, that's it. <laughs> All right, guys. I think that's probably for the best that we end right here, everybody. Yeah, I think it's best to be in right here, though, because we're at a lock right now. And besides, I got a lot of grinding to do. I got a lot of grinding to do, everybody. So, yeah, I am going to go do that grinding off stream. Anyway, everybody, I hope you guys enjoyed the stream. Hope you guys enjoyed the stream, everybody. Anyway, everybody, I'm gonna go. Thank you guys for tuning in. Appreciate you, Jedi. Appreciate you, Blade. Appreciate you, Brandon. I know that a, a lot of people, well, then, well, I know that some people stopped by though, but a lot of people didn't really say anything. But anyway, everybody, the next time I pick this up, I'll probably pick this back up on Saturday. Saturday before the elimination, Saturday before the elimination chamber. Because I know that on Sunday, Sunday, I'm gonna wrap up the on um, the new year's stand pay-per-view um so about the new year's stand pay-per-view i actually had to make an edit due to a situation that actually took place took place the other day it didn't um um it did not involve me but it did involve some people who are currently in the fed and because those and and, and then because those two people had a falling out i don't want to cause any sort of drama and nonsense in the show so i literally so what i did was that so i did was that i literally canceled that match from the card and i replaced it with something else so yeah anyway everybody i'm gonna go see you guys next time stay safe stay positive keep striving thriving climbing and grinding see you guys next time love you guys peace